Prometheus is asking, uh, what are your thoughts on the patriarchy? Do you think it was an inherently evil idea and it should never have existed? Or that it was a need of the time and is justified in a pre-modern society? Should men as a whole be blamed for it or not? This is actually a very good question. I like mm -hmm. it, you know? Yeah. Um, I think, you know, oh my God, I'm going to get canceled for this. <laughs> I think the patriarchy was a necessity given our biology and given how civilization works, right? I think we... I think there's no other way, there would have been no other way to go about it. Um, I mean, we can, we should evolve out of it, but I just don't think like, yeah, what, go on. Are you, because this, this was the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this, is are we there? I think there are a couple of main definitions of patriarchy. And there's one where it's just basically saying that men are in more dominant roles. But I think in general, the way that a lot of people use the term is one where there is a specific element where not just men being in dominant roles prominently but there's a specific like men are better than women like a superior thing so if you're if you're not coming at it from that perspective no no then i i would say like yeah i i think i agree with kind of how history played out just in the sense of for there, there was a time where in a bunch of different societies, it made more sense for men to be in more prominent leadership positions and stuff. But yeah, I think that was the first thing that came to my mind was like, it depends, I guess, on what definition we're using, especially for like, is it an, an inherently evil idea? Like, yeah, I, I don't, I think the patriarchy is not that the idea that men are superior, especially because okay. the patriarchy also so treats a lot of men like, garbage as well well yeah <laughs> right? but, but it's, it's just saying men are superior to women it can still treat men badly right yeah, in the but... process just as long as it treats the women worse no because because if you actually look at how people especially a lot of feminists uh, define the uh, patriarchy mm. uh they don't well we're getting a lot of super chats i'll get to the super chats mm -hmm. very soon thank you guys um it's not like it's not that the idea of men are superior, right? Because mm. they even mentioned that, you know, this is a patriarchal model. And when they're talking about a patri patriarchal model and the examples are, you're, are, are being given, um, it's not anybody claiming the superiority of men. They're like, oh, look, this is like, um, sometimes they say like men are positions in, in, are put in the, these certain positions against their own will, like against yeah. their own desires. Right. So, and you, if you look at the examples people keep giving, you don't see any claim of superiority. You, you keep see, you keep looking at uh, societal su structures that put men in certain positions and certain mm. roles and women in certain roles. And that's mostly what they're talking about. So not I, like male superiority. Yeah. I think, so I think a lot of times today we're not we're not discussing like a specific aspect where there is where that is the main key to it. But it is it is an undertone, I think, throughout it. We do have historical um, and even modern day understandings like with indigenous cultures and stuff throughout the world. Um, one of them, I believe I'm pronouncing this right, the Munduruku uh, have a very interesting kind of, you know, uh, gender understanding and societal structure uh, where the men R-A-P-E the women whenever they do anything bad and the women actually make sure to enforce this with other women. It's it's very, very interesting. There's this whole women of the forest, I think it was called, um, or women of the, uh, of, of the trees. I, I don't remember exactly the book, but anyway, not the point. It's just to say that like, so like I, I just went and just looked up patriarchy and like there, there are a couple of different definitions. And one is just purely in the sense I think that you were talking about is more an anthropological as opposed to a sociological. More one in the sense of like being traced through a father lineage or one where uh, the male is the head of the household, right? right. As opposed to a, an aspect where um, there is that societal lens of like, we're not letting women do things because of x reasons right did that does that distinction make sense i i don't know if yeah yeah well now going with the definition that i mentioned right? yes i think that i've you know and most and and d is mentioning having roles doesn't necessarily mean anyone is oppressed yeah but in a patriarchy the roles that are assigned to men 
are more managerial, like men get more um, managerial or positions of power than mm. women do. Again, and this is not, uh, so the, going back to the question, um, do you think it's inherently evil? It's not inherently evil because it's not, it's, it's not necessarily, and most of the time it's not something conscious. You know, it's, it's, it's just happens organically and it's just, it's just a, it's like, it's part of, it's a, does that, it's a part does that of make nature. it worse? Does that make it worse? If it is on mm -hmm. the, if it is on the societal aspect of it, where there is that like superiority thing and all that jazz, does it make it worse that it's like so ingrained that it's people are acting on it unconsciously or does that make it less Makes bad? it just more difficult what makes it less evil but also more difficult to get rid of because you're you're not because okay you're you're because it's the conscious it's it's the specific act of trying to do the harmful thing that adds an extra layer of harm you're saying like if yeah, if you're yeah okay go ahead it's not intentional right right okay because it's not intentional i don't i wouldn't mm. kind of call it evil right i mean right. think about it it's, it's really hard not to do it any other way right you have uh one sex right that has more muscle power, right? And you, first of all, without civilization, this is not that big of an issue, right? But now you ha you're producing more calories, mm -hmm. right? So you have you have more calories, so more people can spend time not farming. So there are more people, so you build city states, right? And now you have a lot more manpower that is not being attributed to the farm. Uh, you need guards, right? You need guards who is going to be in charge, which sex do you think is going to get have the upper hand when it comes to managing and guarding? That's going to be the one with more muscle power, right? So you could mm -hmm. you're going to naturally see more males becoming more in leadership and managerial positions, given that they have uh, an advantage when it comes like when it's all farming, both sexes are their roles in society are extremely like kind of equal. Right. Mm. Uh, but with, all of a sudden, when it comes to everything, like you need muscle power for hunting and everything, but also f uh, farming. And, you know, there's a lot of roles of women being the ones who give birth and everything and having mm. more uh, choosing, uh, being more selective over picking mates and stuff. You know, in if, if we're all doing farming, it's the, the men don't have that much of an advantage when it comes to the role in society. But as soon as we get into a civilizational mode, all of a sudden the men's role increases. Also because the value, like the biological value of women, you know, they become, you know, very hot. Like, again, I'm not, I'm not saying this, it's just how, how it ends up. Almost like a very hot commodity that you need to mm. guard along with all other all the other commodities. So you have so you have one sex that has more muscle power, and muscle power become a key, a key advantage. And another mm. sex has something that the other sex really wants, and without much um, without much muscle power to control whether or not she gives it or not, right? Because mm. must in. in in, a, in societies where you don't have very powerful police and very powerful military, you are, the more muscle power you have, the more you are in control of your own autonomy. So one, one imagine one sex having something that is, sure. is very much valued and the other sex having the muscle power. Yeah. What do you think is going to happen? Sure. Like, obviously, that's good. So it's like it, you can't escape that. There's no way to escape that. And again, the whole patriarchy is not something that is necessarily beneficial to all, most men. Most men, you know, given given how the societies will eventually function, mm. the patriarchy will be in favor of a few men, you know, because, you know, the, the roles, you might think like, well, I, you know, even at a lower level in society, I would like to be in charge in a family. I would like to be in control. Like, you would think like, in an, even in a family, well, the fatherhead is the, main figurehead like mm. the guy is in control yeah but also because of patri patriarchy and men's roles in society the men are also um being put in front lines you know of the most dangerous and uh, taxing work on, on some on one's body right like you are doing the hardest amount of labor and doing the most dangerous jobs uh and you know putting yourself in harm ways in, in battle and you know picking up a mind work and mm. the most you know dirtiest jobs so you know the patriarchy might benef be beneficial to a few men on the top 
but overall it's not necessarily beneficial to most men you know in mm. fact it might be the opposite yeah what do you think no I, there's there's a lot for sure um again i think I think it is important to make that distinction between like an anthropological and a sociological understanding of the word, um, because I think the anthropological one is is really not harmful and a lot more in line with kind of the explanation I think you just gave about how kind of, you know, human societies, you know, developed. Um, the sociological one is where I think the um, the harm comes in. And absolutely, it, it doesn't just harm women. Um, but it does it does make a concerted effort uh, hitting that group more than it does men. Um, but uh, one one question that came to my mind actually, Susanna um, had said this earlier in the chat. I don't know if you can find it, but she said um, like uh, where was it? It was uh, t -t 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 something about what about the the various societies yes that are matriarchies i mean obviously that meme didn't catch on in the same way yeah absolutely but we do have a good bit of of information about some very very successful uh you know clearly female dominated societies throughout the world um what what do you think with with that kind of explanation you just gave do you think that that fits with that or do you think um do I mean, you that's think that's not that common no, 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 it, it's not, but it's still, it would still need to be accounted for in like the understanding that the reason that it played out in such a way was, was kind of, you know, due to this, this dominance in a, in a physical sense, right? Because then right. we would have to explain why there are any societies at all that, that have this, you know, matriarchy structure, right? Like, well, you, you wouldn't expect any, if anything that hasn't, um, such an effect on society to be absolute okay. right the, because because the the variables are so uh, numerous right mm. it's not that you, when you see the effect of something having an influence on society all you expect is for that to generally be the result not mm. for that to completely have um i mean it is close to absolute right yeah so you have yeah, to I mean, really go is. looking yeah, yeah, it is. So it is. You have to really go yeah. looking to find something like that. But the ones that the ones that do buck that trend are 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 quite badass, right? Like the the, yeah. the those people are are pretty pretty awesome, right? There's a lot of you know female uh, leaders and stuff throughout history. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, I, is it? yeah, go on. I, I was just gonna say the last question I I thought of 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 that was um like should all men be to blame and just like no. Oh. Of course not. Obviously, right? yeah. just like we shouldn't blame all women or all Muslims or all anything, right? We should always. Yeah, I mean, yeah. one thing about blaming all men, even the most hardcore radical feminists. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. But many of the many hardcore feminists don't even mm -hmm. say that. Like I've seen some people that are associated with like, oh, that's a radical feminist. And if you go ask them, do you feel? Do you think we should blame all men for this? They mm -hmm. like laugh at you, like. They were yeah. like, who says that? No, yeah. of course not, right? So yeah. funny yeah. enough, there's a super reasonable argument coming from a lot of feminists. Yeah, go figure, yeah, right? Yeah. Super, yeah, yeah. super reasonable one that uh is not the exaggeration that other people try to put up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you actually you know, the the ones that get highlighted are not necessarily representative of, of them. Of yeah. course. But what is this? Men explaining what is men, this? Men explain things to me. Uh. Like I think, men explains to me, yeah, 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 what? yeah, yeah. Well, well, just that's like what the show, us both well, talking the about the patriarchy. <laughs> yeah, probably doesn't look too good, but you know. wait, why? Why not? We are we are talking about we're men. We're talking about the patriarchy. Shouldn't we? Shouldn't be? I mean, but, how come? If I we don't, don't talk it's... about the patriarchy, huh. no, no, no. I I, I, agree. I know she's it's, joking. It's, by the way, it's yeah. definitely it's definitely you know a men's issue as well, right? It, it, yeah, it's a men's just, issue. It can't, we can't just we can't be talk exclusive. about we can't talk right. about women's issues, but we can't talk about men's issues either. <laughs> like what? We... So you know, like I don't know. Maybe it should it should be the other way around. We should be telling 
like okay so women like oh don't talk to me about women's issues okay so if women talk about men's issues so we should be able to say the same thing you're like oh women explaining things to me about men's issues like okay okay women like thank you so much i think like we got this okay i think we men got men's issues thank you very much don't explain men's issues to us thank you okay so. i think that's i think that's probably the best way to go about it no sarcasm whatsoever i know i'm uh, joking i know, no, I, I know, by I know. Way, I, of course yeah i know i know i literally had this a little bit saying oh i was replying to someone in the chat uh, okay okay That's okay. i know we're Still. just we're just having fun we're just yeah. having fun this is not it's not serious yeah yeah we yeah. should make this what, a thing, like women explain <laughs> women hi, women explaining things to men and to me, like hashtag or something. Like that. Thanks. Um, all right, As I do too. I do too. Yes. Yeah. That. Yeah. I mean, we weren't we weren't talking about that, but uh, yeah, yeah, never yeah. never a bad time to remind everybody. Um, yeah. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.